Oh no, I be testing the uh <laughs> the camera lag. Every time I do a selfie, I got a lot of camera lag. Like I'm saying something like see that? I don't know if y'all see that, but I see it when I'm recording. I mean whatever. That's neither here nor there, but um look at that crispy. Ooh. Yeah, but um I got a little bit of a um trim still woofing my waves so they're not you know there yet they're coming you can see them i mean i don't know if it's picking up on the camera but when i cut down to that 1.5 with the guard against the grain i don't know i don't know if i'm doing with the grain or against the grain but it's a two guard with the grain so meaning with the way my hair goes you know with with the way my 360s are coming in you know, against the grain, they say that's even better for certain things. I guess, you know, it picks up. But a guy went over my head with scissors too. But against the grain will pick up more of the loose hair, you know what I'm saying, give you a more even cut, I guess. I mean, I'm still learning. But I just got to line up and um, short trim, just a trim. You know what I'm saying, did the beard and everything, cleaned it up. It was looking rough. But, um... Uh, but yeah, I like to uh, talk about what's going on with my fitness right now. You know, my bad for not putting up, you know, adequate fitness footage lately. That's going to change. Dang, it was an accident. Every day, every day, every day. Everybody, everybody that watch my channel, you already know how I talk about South Carolina. It's an accident. It's an accident in every state every day. But dude, in, every, in one city, in Anderson, Every day on this street, every day a couple accidents for nothing. It's not even that crazy on this street, but people get in accidents all the time, anyways. You know, but that's not what the conversation is about. My bad, I'm gonna turn on the air real quick, a little bit. Cause this camera like to overheat whenever I drive. It's like 80 degrees. The sun ain't out really, but it's cloudy. But it's still about 80 degrees right now in South Carolina. But yeah, um, I weighed in. I don't know if y'all seen the video I just dropped earlier. Uh, I weighed in at 181 point something. And granted, I am fasted. I'm still fasted. I'm on that same fast, and I was over. It was a little bit over 24 hours fasted at that time. I forget what time it was. I woke up, but 10 a.m. would have made 24 hours, and I think it was about it's 2:30 now. So that probably had to be like 11, like 12 or something. I'm gonna say 12, give or take. So 26 hours fasted, give or take, and I weighed in at 181. So granted, if I wasn't on that long of a fast, I probably would have weighed another pound. You know what I'm saying? So another half a pound at least so i'm gonna say 182 give or take but still that's a lot lower than what i started at 205 or whatever but um yeah i'm probably gonna take y'all throughout my day uh my girl she at work my son is over his grandma house y'all know i do night shift i got these two days off so i got off work at seven in the morning I went home with the bed, went straight to bed, didn't eat nothing. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was like, man, should I eat or should I not eat? Should I continue to fast? But it, uh, if I continue to fast a little bit longer, it's easy for me to fast on the days I work compared to the days I'm off because I'm, I'm free. You know what I'm saying? I'm at home, there's food in the kitchen. I drive past restaurants every day, all day, you know? So it's easier to stick to a fast on the day I work and right now I'm super fasted pretty much about close to 30 hours uh well is it on? yeah I think 30 hours to be four o'clock I'm not gonna do the math y'all can do the math 10 10 a.m till 4 p.m will be not in the same day 10 a.m yesterday you know what I'm saying not 10 a.m today you know what I'm saying 10 a.m yesterday so I think that's a 30 hour fast. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment below. But, uh, yeah, um, uh, I'm 
just gonna show y'all big things. I got a physique update coming soon. You know, I want to do it now, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, as soon as I get 180 or drop right under 180, 179. See, a lot of people be like, man, that's not a big difference. You know, 181 to 179. Yes, it is. You're getting lean. When you're getting lean, every pound makes a drastic difference in your physique. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you're, like when I was 205, or even worse than that, when I was 230, or back in the days when I was 270, you know, two or three pounds, I wouldn't even notice the difference in my physique. You know what I'm saying? But as you get leaner, when you're getting to that lean stage, that lean state, you're, every pound is going to look different. Let's say you, let's say I'm done cutting at 175 or if I was to do a show, you know, I'd be mid, late, to, mid, late 160s, maybe mid 160s, maybe even early 160s, I don't know. You know, I've been show ready before, I think, but at the same time, it matter what show you're doing, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you're doing some muscle madness or something like that where those guys are not natty, um... <laughs> But if you're doing a muscle madness show compared to if I'm doing just some local show around here, you know what I'm saying? Some local show around here, I could just get, you know, pretty lean and win. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's all about who shows up, really. But um, body fat percentage thing, I don't really throw that out there because you know, I've never been on a DEXA scan. I've never, I've never had an accurate body fat percentage uh, check, you know what I'm saying, and most, most people that talk about body fat percentage, I used to do it all the time, but I quit doing it because I realized, dog, we can't go by these bathroom scales and these handheld um, body fat percentage monitors, those are way off, you don't believe me, get on your bathroom scale today, if it has a fat, um, body fat percentage um monitor or whatever um, get on your bathroom scale today and I don't know if you have a handheld thing they got they got a handheld thing at both of the gyms I go to you get on that and then you immediately go test your body fat there they're gonna tell you two way like you know as lean as I'm getting my body fat um, on my bathroom scale is still saying like 22 or something like that ain't no way I'm 22 percent body fat no way my abs will not be coming in um the gym tells me i'm about half of that you know what i'm saying about 11 or something something like give or take i don't remember i ain't, I ain't touched that thing in a minute but it's gonna if i did i know it'd tell me because i remember last time it told me i was like 15 or 14 or something like that you know what i'm saying so so uh um, I mean, that's just shows you. I mean, within like the same hour, the same amount of water, the same food, didn't do nothing drastically different. You know what I'm saying? Because what those things do, they send an electric current through your body. The bathroom scale is going from the feet up to, uh, throughout your body. It sends a slight electric current through your body to measure your um, you know, body fat or whatever. But it's inaccurate. You know, even pinch calipers are inaccurate. All that stuff is inaccurate. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff is inaccurate. You don't want to go by that. So I don't, that's why I say I don't talk about body fat percentage. I never do, I never will. Because, I mean, when I do get it, you know what I'm saying, one day, you get on a Dexter scan or something like that. You know? But I think just cutting for the summer, there's no... You know, if I find a place that does it, you know, on, on accident, I'll go do it. But, you know what I'm saying? There's no reason for me to, uh, there's no reason for me to, uh, my, I'm thinking about my brush session. I need to get a brush session in. I ain't got one in this morning. But, uh, Tony Dewey on Suki Duag. Got that on deck always, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going down. When I get that 1.5, I don't know if the camera picking up my waves or not, but uh, to get that 1.5 with or against the grain, either way, it's going down. But uh, man, I forget 
about that. People don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, y'all here for fitness. That's what I'm gonna give y'all. This week is going down. There's so much stuff, man. When am I gonna do the fatigue update soon? But you know, you know, I'm still in that worst before you get better phase. But when you get, I'm almost through that though. My, my love handles are shrinking. My lower abs is uh, starting to get flatter. Um, the upper abs are starting to get more and more defined by the day. Um, yeah. I mean, hopefully the bleeds start popping out. You know what I'm saying? Real good. You know, I'm working abs almost every time I hit the gym. Um, a lot of people say, oh, don't do it like that. That's overdoing it. Y'all don't understand. A lot of people that say I'm overdoing anything don't understand that I do take days off. And when I take days off, you know, I take a couple days off a week. It's not a just one one day off a week thing. I hate when people do that. But it's not one day off a week or two days off a week. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four. You know what I'm saying? Probably no more than that unless I really, really absolutely need it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like doing D-Lows. D-Lows are basically... D-low weeks are basically you go in the gym for a week um, or even a couple of days, but um, you go in the gym and do half the load, you know what I'm saying? Either less weight or less reps or or a little of both or, or going, just going through the motions to me. That's how I see it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you might have a different idea of what you think it is, but, you know, a D-low week is not for... It's, and a lot of professionals do it. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying it's not for me because I can't go in the gym without trying to go hard. You know what I'm saying? I, I've tried to do D-Loss, and I just like, nah. If that weight is moving good, like let's say I'm deadlifting, and, you know, instead of shooting for late fours, early fives, or whatever, um, now, yeah, I could go in there, and, and instead of doing that, you know, like let's say my deadlift was, Five, I'm just throwing the number out there, 500. And I could go in there and work with, you know, 445 or lower, you know, for reps, you know what I'm saying, for a couple of um, heavy reps. Like, I don't do high reps on deadlifts. During the warm-up, yes, but I don't do the high reps on a deadlift. To me, deadlifts are a powerlifting move. I don't do high reps on them. I don't shoot for 10 and 15 reps on a deadlift, you know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, I mean, the people that do it, I mean, you do it, you do it, you, you, you know what I'm saying, you do whatever you do, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't try to force what you do on me, and I'm not going to try to force what I do on you, I mean, but at the same time, the problem I see with a lot of lifters, even people that know what they're doing, the ones that shoot for high reps on a deadlift, you know, at the, most people, myself included, after like five reps, usually your form will break down. You know, so let's say your form broke down at four, maybe five reps, maybe six. You know what I'm saying? Say your form broke down at, I'm going to give you that six. You know what I'm saying? If your form broke down at six and you're shooting for 12, you just did six reps with bad form and kept going anyways just because you wanted to hit that 12. Like 12 is such a magical number. You know what I'm saying? On the deadlift, I think, okay, let's say I don't have any, um, I don't have any rep calculators on me right now. I got one on my phone, but I'm, I'm recording on my phone. I got my other phone in the bag, but that one doesn't have a rep calculator. My old phone had one, and I was using that just for the rep calculator. But uh, I don't know where that phone at. <laughs> but uh, um, what I'm saying is I don't have a rep calculator on me. So let's say you can do, let me just guess. Let's say your max is 405. Let's say you can do... Uh, just guess 285 for 12 reps if your max is 405 you can do 285 for 12 reps you could probably do i'm gonna say 350 something for um five or six reps about five reps you know what i'm saying i would rather you do a four by four with that uh 340 then then uh then break yourself up with that 280 and doing bad reps, you know what I'm saying? 280 ain't that heavy to most lifters. It's, 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 it's like baby weight to most of us, but at the end of the day, if it's not baby weight to you, it's not baby weight. 
what was 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 like to me and what's like to you is gonna be two different things. What's you know what I'm saying? There's people that's way stronger than me. Like uh, a bunch of people, you know, professional powerlifters and things like that. But what they warm up with, you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta go with what you need to go with, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, get one body. There's no reset button. This ain't no PlayStation, this ain't no Nintendo. There's no reset button, this ain't no DVD, ain't no rewind. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no pause. This is life. You know what I'm saying? You get one body, you break your body, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? You can probably get you know, prosthetics and a new leg or something or something new hip. But still, that's nothing like your flesh and bone. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing like your flesh and bone, man. But, you know, enough rambling right now. I'm gonna go uh, pick up my son. We probably gonna go eat. I don't know if I'm gonna eat right now or not. Cause I wanna, I wanna, I'm not hungry. I could work out fasting, which will help me, you know what I'm saying? Burn a little more fat. You know, people that don't believe that or do believe that, you gotta think about it. What are your body, what is your body working on if it doesn't have food in it? Your body's turning that fat into ketones. And it's using that for energy. That's how you're losing fat. You lose fat in so many ways. You're actually breathing out fat. You know what I'm saying? When your body is in fat burning mode, when your insulin levels are super low, that's where, that's another reason. There's so many reasons why fast. I'm going to get really into it on the video because I got all the knowledge. I just got to learn how to teach y'all the knowledge. I got to just learn how to speak it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to write some things down. There's a lot of uh, ways your body loses fat on a fast but I mean fat comes out every everything that comes out of your body fat comes out in it you know what I'm saying you take a crap you pee you breathe you sweat I mean there's a little bit of fat coming out of that stuff I don't care yes I know when you're sweating you're mostly losing water weight but I'm saying when your insulin levels are low when your insulin levels are super low because when you spike your insulin if I was to eat a candy bar or something like that right now, spike my insulin way up, my, my fat burning mode will go on pause until the insulin spikes back down. You know what I'm saying? Until the insulin comes back down, then my body will go back into fat burning mode. Trust me. How do I know these things? I'm doing it right in front of your eyes. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? Let me see me in the last couple of months. The last month or two. How long have I been cutting? March 15th? I've been cutting since March 15th. And a lot of people will say I'm going too fast. A lot of people will say I'm going too fast. And I and I feel you and I understand. You know, I'm mostly doing it for the channel, but I'm not going too fast because I'm maintaining. Have you seen me uh, lifting lately? I'm maintaining most of my strength. You know what I'm saying? I haven't lost as much on my bench press as most people would have lost after losing 20, 25 pounds. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys lose all their strength, you know what I'm saying? And keeping your strength is a good uh, indicate that you're keeping your muscle, too. And, yes, your muscle will, like, my muscles look smaller right now. You know why? Because I don't have um, glycogen like that. I don't have a good glycogen storage because I'm fat, super fast. You know what I'm saying? My glycogen is low. Um, I'm on a caloric deficit when I'm eating, but I'm not on a high-ass caloric deficit, like, I'm still close to maintenance, you know what I'm saying? That way I stay steady, losing weight steadily without hitting any plateaus. I haven't hit a plateau yet. I haven't hit a plateau yet. Plateau meaning a brick wall. You know, when you when you lose 5 or 10 pounds and then you can't lose anymore. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be thinking they're doing really good. They lose 5 or 10 pounds. Oh, my gosh, yes, I'm doing it. And then they hit a brick wall and they're wondering why. Because that initial five or ten pounds, most of that probably wasn't even fat that you lost. You lost water. You know what I'm saying? Water weight comes and goes. That's why I say I don't worry about water weight when I'm dieting. I don't worry about water weight when I'm dieting. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm going to, like, if I plan on doing a show or something like that, I will, I will cross that bridge when I get to it. When I get done losing all the fat, I want to lose first. You got to remember, fat is the culprit. Stop worrying about water weight. You know what I'm saying? All these fad drinks and these fad um, things and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying about the quick 
way of doing things. You know, it's not something you can buy that's going to really, something special that you can buy that's going to make you lose fat. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I take supplements. Yes, I take supplements. I mean, to supplement whatever nutrients I'm missing from my diet. You know what I'm saying? Like creatine. Creatine is in um, like red meat and things like that. And yes, I eat beef. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, oh, that's bad for you. It doesn't digest the same. Yeah, I, I, yeah, whatever, man. You, you don't believe in it, you don't eat it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and I eat beef and look at me and look at anybody that's going to try to tell me not to eat beef. God. But no, I'm just saying like, um, and I, I don't eat pork, but I'm not going to. I'm not gonna tell nobody you shouldn't eat pork because I don't eat pork. You know what I'm saying? If you ask my reasons, I'll tell you. But you know what I'm saying? You can try to debate. People get mad at me, man. I'd be like, I've had people literally get mad at me in real life because I don't eat pork. I was like, really? Get out of here. I mean, why is my life so important to you? What, what's man get out of here do you i mean i love it when somebody like let's say i have some hot cheetos and i'm being nice and i offer somebody some of my hot cheetos right hey man you want some of these hot cheetos bro no nah, i'm good i don't eat those boy you eat hot cheetos man i'll knock you yo that's how they be yeah i'm back i had to uh erase some things off my phone but well i'm saying hot cheetos yeah people let me in you know what i'm saying i'm like man dog I'm glad you don't want no hot Cheeto. I wanted my whole bag of hot Cheetos. Now I can have my whole bag of hot Cheetos. Right? And yes, I still eat hot Cheetos. Yes, I still eat. I still eat dirty almost a little bit every day. Not every day. You know, I do have something dirty every day. But I mean, like, after, you know, most days I have my nutrition, what I consider nutritious, what I consider me reaching my protein, my carbs, my fats my uh, fiber intake, vitamins, minerals, you know what I'm saying? I make sure I hit all of that. Then I have room for something else, but while counting my calories at the same time, so I won't go over on my calories. Don't think just because you're eating clean foods that uh, quote unquote clean foods, I don't really see food as, any food as evil, any, any food as uh, just, oh, you know what I'm saying? I don't really see it that way. Every food has its place, even donuts. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it enhances my mood, which enhances something. My endorphins. I mean, it's good and it's, it's good and everything. It's good and bad and everything. You know what I'm saying? Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Am I saying that to sound cliche? Yes, I am. You know what I'm saying? Am I saying it because it sounds good? Yes, I am. Get out the way, bro. God dang. See, that's what I'm saying, man. People love being in your way. If you're talking, especially they see you on the phone. Let me see what you're doing. You can't see what I'm doing, really. You know what I'm saying? It's none of your business. Pull out your phone in front of a bunch of people. Watch how many people. If you never paid attention, watch how many people go stare right into your phone. But, um, dang, I love phone this. It's the selfie and the diet and the lack of this and the lack of that. But, you know, I leave room where I say I count my calories and I leave room for something. Or if I don't have room for something, I just won't have that something. Let's say right now I'm going for like 2,700 calories a day. You know, 2,700 calories. If I fast more than 36 hours, I can up my calories a little bit. I give myself that room. And a lot of times when I do that, glycogen stores come back. That's probably how I'm gonna do my physique update. Cheat a little bit, let my glycogen get a, get a quick pump, you know what I'm saying? Because without food and calories in you, I mean, it's pretty much useless to do a physique update. You know what I'm saying? Because you won't have that pump. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you're doing at the gym. You're not getting really a pump. If you get even a little, you're not going to get a pump without calories. You're not going to get a pump without being hydrated. You're not going to get a pump without sodium. You're not going to get a pump without a lot of, there's a lot of things that can give you a pump. You know, red wine can help give you a pump. You know, now, not saying you should be just chasing the pump all the time, you know. You know, shout outs to pump chasers. But uh, you gotta be worried about building that muscle, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be worried about building that muscle real quick. You know, even for people that don't wanna look really jacked and muscular, I still think you should focus on building muscle because at the end of the day, you know, you're not gonna get jacked and muscular. We're talking about hydration. 
to always keep water on deck. Water bottle, water jug, mug, whatever. Keep water on deck. I'm not saying you have to drink water all day, every day, every day, all day. But I do like drink two. Like as I'm cutting, I like to ramp my way up to drinking about two gallons of water a day. You know? So by the time the end of my cut, I'm drinking about two gallons. Like right now, I'm drinking about a gallon and a quarter, I would say. I, I would guess. I'm guessing. I make sure I get a gallon. I know how I'm getting a gallon because when I open a fresh gallon, and I make sure that's gone by the day, you know what I'm saying? I know I got at least a gallon. You see what I'm saying? And it's not hard for me because at the end of the day, at the gym, I be guzzling. That's why a lot of my, uh, I'm kind of discrediting myself on my, my physique updates that I do have, you know, because hey, at the end of the day, your stomach gonna look full, which is gonna take away from the look of your abs. That, my next physique update gotta be done right. I'm gonna have to do it right. My, my last few, I haven't done them that right. I mean, you can see the progress, but it could have looked a lot better if I would've cheated. <laughs> There's no cheap involved in none of my stuff yet. Yeah, keyword. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to take y'all throughout my day. Probably going to eat. Um, oh, I'm starving, man. I'm starving like Mark. But, yeah, I'm trying to drop pro tips off the top of my head. I mean, if you liked any tip, comment it below. The main thing that you caught from this video, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, share.